Yeah, so you see the second boat, the Royal Caribbean. So there's, there's three boats, a small one, two oh, big wow. ones. Oh, wow, those are the three. Yeah, so it's, it's the second one, the pale blue one. Yeah. Good day. So we seem to be all piled up for some reason. I don't know why. I think maybe it's because we gotta go through customs. So, guess I'll let you know what happens when I get out. All right, a uh, little update. I haven't updated since I left the ferry, but I'm in Jerb's hometown right now. Kind of a funny yet sad tale. But um, I, my phone is completely useless. It's, uh, I can't access maps, no text messaging, and no phone calls. It says it's not, I'm not on a network. But I went in there and I connected to the store's Wi-Fi, because the guy behind the counter was a badass and let me use, uh, let me connect, told me the password, and he also uh, let me use the phone there. So, major props to that dude. But yeah, couldn't call gerbs let them know I was here couldn't send a text message <laughs> I got here though one piece so yeah man I'm Vancouver on is pretty it's real nice here real nice 
Thankfully, I've already had dinner, so I don't have to worry about getting a meal. I uh, I stopped at the Tim Hortons because I've never heard, never had it, and uh, I thought they were burgers, but they just had they had donuts, coffee, and sandwiches. So I was like, well, I'll uh, I'll just get a sandwich, which I just kind of ate while I drove. So yeah, good times. So yeah, and gases. The traffic. So I gotta say though, boo to the U.S. for not not teaching the metric system. Cause everything here is in meters and kilometers. It's like, damn U.S. Why you gotta be different? The whole rest of the world uses it. Buttheads. It's all right though. A little button in the car lets me switch the mile per hour to kilometers per uh, mile. Or however they do it, kilometers. So I'm just gonna stand here and wait for gerbs while people look at me out their windows, like, "What's that guy doing, staring at the camera?" Hey, it's YouTube business. Mind yours. All right. I think you find a campsite too. I think gerbs are gonna direct me over there, which I'll I'm sure I'll do the setup, depending on how dark it is. So greetings, one and all. I'm at my campground in uh, Jerb's hometown. Let's go look for the spot with the least grass and rocks. Uh, Got to hurry and get set up. According to the view screen, it's not super dark, but. set up in the hole here. Damn. I think I might have to go over here. Not really preferred, but it's a bit rocky. But I guess it'll have to do, for at least for the night. Maybe I can figure something else out. So yeah, if I'd brought my hammock, I'd been in trouble because I have no trees. I guess I could sit right here. It seems the least sucker. I can just lay with my head here and feet going downhill, so I won't wake up with a headache. So I guess I'll go there. I'm gonna bust my, uh, bust out my hotel and get it set up. And I had to go get my headlamp. Get a little dark. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna. As long as I have one side I can hold down. I can use it as my enter and exit, and the other one I can just leave flopping over. So far, this is the biggest rock I've found. I don't think I'm gonna get a stake through this hard ass rocky ground. And of course, the slightest movement will send the rock flying because. Of course it will. I'm gonna have to go find something bigger and heavier. That rock's just too small. Gotta find something. Fortunately, we're by a lake, so maybe there's a rock. I hope to do this in better lighting, so I'll probably show you too tomorrow as well. I got a new sleeping pad. I haven't even used it yet. Literally just out of the box. It's uh five and a half inches thick when inflated. So and it's supposedly a foot at the base which I guess is right here which I'll have to show you in more detail tomorrow when we have better lighting 
they've been having a hell of a time getting comfortable on the ground. And what does this do? I guess that does nothing. It just lets the air out. So I'm going to find a good spot to try to inflate this now. My apologies if you can't see. I will do, definitely do something in the morning. I remember to stop looking at the camera. I can just throw on the light right in the face. But let's see what happens. Okay. Is it supposed to... Or do I have to fill it up with the... Oh. <laughs> Alright, so she's all aired up. Well, for the most part. Might be let a little out just to... Oh, you gotta release it from the other side. Ah, that's fine. So what I did is I put it on the table here, and I just filled it up doing this. So, because it's a new pad, it's gonna be a little bit of a break-in period, so tomorrow, I mean over the night as I sleep, it's probably gonna deflate a bit. Because I did read those complaints on Amazon, but you know, people gotta understand when products new there's a bit of a break-in period so air it up i was going to test it last weekend but i ended up working both days because they needed additional security so i uh, wasn't able to get out and test it plus it was dumping rain i wasn't too upset about the rain because it's been dry multiple weeks in a row so rain means it'll hold off the uh um, the burn bands, although they have burn bands here, but they don't have burn bands. Last I heard, they don't have burn bands in my neck of the woods. Of course, I got my Aries pillow, so it's not very cold out here at all. I'm just in a t-shirt. Of course, I'm also working too, and I'm right on the water, so overnight it might get really chilled. So I got my Get my uh, Aries pillow, and I got my 15 degree down or not down bag, synthetic bag. Not too much air, I think. That should be good. I've been mostly using this in a hammock, so all right. Get my uh, bedding all set up, and then I'll. Uh, I'll start relaxing. I'm all sweaty now. <laughs> 